The Iowa caucuses have this hold on the imagination of the nation's political reporting class because it's an open, frequently messy experiment democracy, not to mention for TV networks, you can actually point a camera at what's going on. After the Democratic Party's debacle of 2020, where there were delays in the count, the top vote getter won fewer delegates, Democrats have just gotten rid of the whole thing. They're just going to have normal mail in voting, which honestly seems smart. Not many people are up for joining the gaggle in this specific hour of the night, even when it isn't snowy and below freezing. But the Republicans have kept their caucuses, and there's a you know cheery civic informality to it all. Even though it's not an official election run by the state, it's it's a party function. It's being run by the local Republican Party. There's something you know downright Rockwellian about the scene. You got people trudging out in the snow, and they all get in the room together, and they talk, and they argue, and they consider the issues and the candidates. And then they caucus like this. This is the voting method. They are putting votes into a brown paper bag, passing it around. Just stuff it in there, keep it moving. Don't like grocery bags? Maybe prefer popcorn buckets. DeSantis. Haley. Trump. That's it. And if that's not enough transparency for you, try this gathering, where they walk the aisles to grab ballots and then stuff fistfuls of votes into clear Ziploc bags. Can't get more transparent than plastic bags. Now, to be clear, I don't personally have an issue with any of this. I, I do not think people are going to abuse the grocery bags and the popcorn buckets in the system. But our friend Ellie Mistal makes an interesting observation. He posts, this is what voting looks like when white people know only white people will be allowed to cast ballots. Just grab them and count them. Just stuff them in. There you go. Pass it on. Watching this as the means of counting the votes and ballot security in the internal world of Republican politics is really mind-blowing when you think for a second about the context here, right? I mean, two-thirds of caucus goers believe that Joe Biden is not the legitimately elected president. Four years of the big lie and the constant disgustingly racist drumbeat about Democrats stealing the election. Remember after the 2020 vote in Detroit when pro-Trump influencers passed around viral video of a wagon supposedly containing extra ballots being brought into the tabulation room, who was actually a news photographer carting his equipment in. But that didn't stop a white MAGA mob from pounding the glass and trying to force their way in and chanting, stop the count. A scene like that was replicated in places like Milwaukee and Philadelphia and Atlanta, where Trump supporters launched personal attacks and threats against two black poll workers doing their civic duty. Ruby Freeman and Shay Freeman Morris and one other gentleman, quite obviously surreptitiously passing around USB ports as if they are vials of heroin or cocaine. What was your mom actually handing you on that video? A ginger mint. Remember how Democrats and volunteers of color could not be trusted to collect and count votes, that they were stealing, that they were part of a conspiracy? Just keep that in mind as you watch this alternative universe in Iowa in which Republicans gather an incredibly homogenous population of folks. And in this context, yeah, perfectly fine passing a paper bag around to stuff it with votes. Can you imagine what they would have done with that video if the bag were in the hands of Ruby Freeman? and Shea Moss, or poll workers in Detroit. The point isn't about ballot security. It's not about the, the process that votes are counted. It's not about mail-in balloting. No, for Republicans, for Trump, to cry voting integrity is virtue signaling. It signals who they think should control elections and which people they think are really worthy of representation.